I wanted to expand on the uh, little small chassis stand that you see here. This thing came to mind when I was working on my uh, most recent uh, restoration project, that uh, Silvertone radio. And uh, for those that followed along, you'll notice I had it propped up to get the uh, chassis facing me on uh, a little ball cup. So uh, probably not the most uh, effective way. So uh, what you see is a bunch of uh, scrap material I already had on hand. And um, when uh, Ben presented this All-American 5 radio to me, I thought I would just go ahead and take time to uh, put something together that would work for uh, this radio and a lot of uh, smaller chassis uh, radios like these. That being an All-American 5. So uh, not much to it. Let me uh, just show you all the uh, bits and pieces here. And uh, it took about uh, maybe 10-15 minutes to put it together. And uh, I'll list all the uh, parts and pieces that I used in the uh, description of the video. If somebody wants to uh, replicate it or take that information and tweak it and uh, make it better. I turned this around here so we could take a closer look at the uh, feet itself. All this material here for the uh, feet and the legs, nothing but uh, one half inch uh, plywood that I had on hand. I think it's some birch that I used for some other project. And uh, just simply uh, put together here uh, the dimensions on the feet. I'd already mentioned about a half an inch uh, thickness here in the material and about three inches wide and I think it was about four and a half inches in uh, length. And then my uh, leg itself, of course there's two of them. Uh, same thickness material. You can see I've just uh, got some screws there, got those put back together. And uh, three inches wide, about, about seven inches in height. Of course the uh, height could be tailored um, as needed. I already had these set pre-cut so um, seven inches uh, worked great. Looking underneath the chassis, I might be able to do something a little shorter than that. Maybe four or five inches might be good. Okay, in these end pieces here you see that the uh, chassis gets clamped in place by the uh, threaded rods, the tension. I'll call them the uh, hands. Uh, they're nothing more than uh, one and three quarter inch uh, wood by three fourths inch wooden strips. And you can see uh, in length itself, they're about eight inches. Um, these were already cut for something else I was working on. Actually some uh, glue blocks. So um, they may need to be just a bit wider, but it worked perfect here for this uh, first prototype. You can see in all cases I'm just using some uh, decking screws. They're number eights by one inch. I've got one center in the, f in the middle here and on the opposite side that you can't see I've got two fasteners that go in from this direction so the total of three each direction and I'm, I'm using those same fasteners down here as well number eight um, one inch or maybe I went one and a half inch up here on the feet drilled some um, quarter inch holes here about a half an inch from the end and uh, you can see I've got the uh, threaded rods here actually uh, locked down in place on this side and the reason the uh, threaded rods are so long in length uh, I have already had these for my large chassis stand that I just repurpose so I didn't want to cut them uh, they could be cut accordingly and then you can see uh, on the other side here let me flip this around where you guys can see it well you'll see these uh, two fluted uh, torque female knobs they're a quarter inch as well, and uh, that makes it uh, easy just to sit here and uh, take this chassis out, tighten it down. And the way I built this assumes that you don't have any uh, connection points or adjustments that need to be made on the ends. Um, that may not be uh, practical or possible to use this stand in all cases, but uh, it does come in handy. And then a little small modification I made after I shot the video where I was doing the camera angle straight down. I actually uh, put this little kickstand here. I have two fasteners, two lock nuts. This is nothing but a, a half inch uh, square dowel. And it's cut, I think it was a little over four inches or so. And if I just drop this down as such, 
It gives me the uh, perfect uh, kickstand and a uh, 45 degree working angle. So for my height bench, if I'm sitting down, I've got a, a bird's eye view right inside the uh, chassis. So uh, pretty simple. Let me uh, flip this over so you can see the other side. I think I'd already mentioned there in the first video, I kick the uh, feet out, you know, outward, so you didn't block off being able to do any adjustments to your IFs or do any troubleshooting here on top of the chassis itself. And uh, just makes it simple and uh, easy to use. So I uh, just wanted to show that off real quick. Not much to it. Call it more of a prototype. I think I will keep it and use it. I'm not doing a lot of smaller chassis these days, but uh, if I happen to pull out another uh, uh, TRF set or get back into some of my older All-American 5s, I'll definitely uh, leverage uh, this stand versus the uh, larger stand that I can uh, rotate around. I appreciate you guys uh, watching, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'll go ahead and put all the uh, raw materials that I used to create this in the uh, description of the video. Take care.